Okay, so I started the car up and I got nothing on the dash. The only thing I got on the dash is this indicator. And when the car started up, I tried to rev. Rev counter doesn't go up. Digital display in the middle doesn't go up, the temperature, the fuel, nothing. And also, when I try to use the indicators, nothing works. So, um, got somebody to have a quick look at it, and they plugged in uh, something in the OBD, OBD port, and it's saying that the car cannot communicate with the instrument cluster. So, what I need to do, this is going to be a first, is remove the instrument cluster now it you got a fascia here first so i've already pulled the bottom bit and you can see that it's it's a bit loose so i can put my fingers in there now the brave part is using a trim tool remover so one of these that you use to just remove uh body panels or the interior panels i should say inside your car like the sideboards Oh, side cards, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and let's see. So, meant to insert it here and and sc squeeze, and it's not going. Let's try. Um, let's try from here, and it's not going. And it's not going. Hmm. So the problem I've got is trying to remove this in one piece. A few moments later. This is annoying. A few moments later. Okay, so now everything's working. What went wrong? So what happened was just a quick recap i got the rac to come and have a look so the rac is a breakdown recovery mobile mechanic and they'll come and they'll check the car the guy checked it and he said that it couldn't he plugged it in the obd port and he couldn't communicate with the instrument cluster and that's the reason why i thought it was a problem with the cluster and i was trying to pull it off and actually get the unit out and take it to a place that i found who can actually check it and fix anything on the circuit board. I also took it to another mechanic and he had a look and he tried to plug in his device to read the car and he couldn't read anything on the car. And then I thought I'd take it to my Bentley mechanic. I thought, well, you know, I can't figure this out myself. I thought I knew how to do it, but clearly I don't. So I took it to him, he plugged it in and he goes, ah, you've got an electrical problem there's something going on with your electrical system it's all screwed up now of course when you're talking about electrical systems well you know where do you start of course electrical problems first thing you should do is check your batteries out now of course we know that there are two batteries in a bentley you've got one here which i'm gonna okay i'm just gonna take off you got one guy here so this little one here is a starter one that's the smaller one and then on the other side as you guys all know because you watch all my videos you have the larger one over here that's the bigger one so the first thing he said was, was look okay let's check when was the last time your batteries were replaced turns out my batteries both of these batteries were last replaced 2016 so that's quite some time ago so he changed the batteries out and the reason being was on the health check of the batteries there's two things you got to be mindful of the first is the health of the battery hi everybody hi dr nick so the battery has got a health just like you and i have got a health are we walking around are we feeling good yes we are both of my batteries were showing up a health of about i think 80 and 83 percent for their health now on the other side 
the state of the battery is something different so the state of the battery is to do with almost how full the battery is how much capacity it has in order to charge and the state was the problem on both of my batteries one of them was shown up as 63 and the other one was shown up as 48 which meant that even though the health and the battery seemed like it's functioning fine its ability to hold store and distribute energy was shit so new batteries installed everything started to look better and he ran through all of the diagnostics and what he found was that there was an electrical problem with the driver instant instrument panel the dip so he did a reset on the dip as aside from all the other diagnostics on the electrical system and suddenly everything was fine so it was good that there wasn't anything major but slightly concerning that there was some electrical gremlin that crept into the car now i haven't had any other major problems with the car so i'm trying to figure out where this gremlin came from he seems to think that it's because of the state of my batteries i.e the health and the state where it just wasn't enough feeding enough electric to the systems and it messed it up so got no idea but thankfully everything checked out to be okay now here's the problem everything not a problem this is a bentley problem right so it cost me a total of 1200 pounds so that's two batteries one of the larger ones and one of the smaller starter batteries and then the labor diagnostics all that kind of stuff 1200 pounds you're cash poor now for an instrument cluster repair which is why i thought it was going to be initially i think i was looking at about three to four hundred pounds but i'm telling you it's impossible to get and you saw it how much i was yanking at it it's impossible to get this dash off unless you really know what you're doing clearly i did not so here's the thing what i've realized is i need to stop calling my bentley <coughs> a volkswagen audi and my mechanic who told me off about this, he goes, look, they may share a lot of the parts with a Volkswagen Audi car, but it's not put together like a Volkswagen Audi. It's put together like a Bentley car. And you have Bentley engineers who train and who know how to do this. And it makes sense because the other places I took it to, even though they had all the diagnostic tools, they couldn't figure out what was wrong. And he took it and he did all his hocus pocus and he figured it out because he knows how these cars are put together. So really that's the lesson we've got to learn or that's the lesson I need to learn that I need to refer to this as not a Volkswagen Audi car. It is a Bentley. It's put together in a different way. Back in business.